Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in with an earthquake update here on June 22nd, 2020. Uh, about uh, 5.52, just a short time ago, had a 4.4 earthquake. It looks like they updated that, upgraded that to a 4.6 magnitude quake there in Southern California, rocking and rolling. This activity taking place outside of the Ridgecrest area. Looks like a 2.9 magnitude earthquake there as well. Uh, West Coast very active today and right now just I tell you what man definitely be on guard uh, out here on the west coast if you are out here like I am take a look at the earthquake uh, map here on the flat scale you can see the uh, fault systems out here we'll go ahead and zoom in and take a look at the specifics of this fault that this earthquake just struck on uh, let's go ahead and zoom in right here this is uh, the one day 2.5 magnitude quakes there you notice a lack of activity down there in the Ridgecrest area uh, of course, that's 2.5 and above. We'll go ahead and bring up the all magnitudes here. Uh, just to let you know that there is quakes taking place down there, but they're under 2.5. You can see uh, Ridgecrest right down here, zooming in a little bit. The larger quake that just struck this 4.6 magnitude quake, kind of up here towards the Lone Pine Fault, the Owens Valley Fault Zone right here. Back in 19 1872, a pretty good sized earthquake struck this specific area of the Lone Pine area, and that's where we're seeing this swarming of activity following this 4.6 earthquake just a short time ago. Uh, and as you can see there, it's a considerable distance away from the Ridgecrest quake, not associated with that activity down there at all. This in itself is of a separate entity and separate activity uh, in this region. Like I said, right around the Owens Valley Fault, the uh, 1872 rupture section, just off to the east of it a little bit. Uh, now the specific area, taking a look even closer, does not really show any specific fault systems out here. Um, although on a different map, uh, like if you have the earthquake map on your phone, there's a, uh, a fault called the Southern Sierra Nevada Fault Zone. And now that's just west of this area as well. So. Uh, in general, this activity is kind of uh, questionable as to what's going on out there. Uh, like I say, no super associated fault system in this area that I can see. I'm sure there is, but uh, at least here on the USGS map here, they're not showing. Uh, that 4.6 uh, hit at about 3.5 kilometers, and since then, a lot of the activity, the aftershock activity, has been variable at, uh, at the least there, ranging from negative... 0.7 kilometers so that's kind of like above surface supposedly uh, which will get upgraded or updated uh, back down to about 6.6 .6 kilometers or so uh, below the surface so a little bit of interesting activity and it all happened uh, pretty much out of the blue all at once there so an area to watch for further activity of course We're right up there towards the north the Lone Pine area back where I back when I said uh, there was a good, good size earthquake, what, 1872? Let's see here, 1872. Let me double check. I can't remember the magnitude here, folks. 1872, Lone Pine Earthquake. I'm just looking here on the phone, on my uh, phone, phone here. Okay, so the 1872 earthquake, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of history real quick, also known as the Lone Pine Earthquake, right around this area, right, right around this fracture zone struck on March 26 at 2.30 a.m. Uh, with the epicenter near the town of Lone Pine. That's that uh, city that you see right there. Its magnitude has been estimated at 7.4 to 7.9 magnitude earthquake uh, range there. So uh, we're talking about an extreme a large earthquake down there. Uh, a good size one, much bigger than the uh, ones that struck the Ridgecrest area last year. So. Uh, just a heads up, you know, no predicting, but it's good to keep an eye on this activity as it's kind of in a weird spot, a ways away from the Ridgecrest area. And uh, like I said, a lot of earthquake activity been taking place out here along the West Coast recently. Um, and it's uh, a little bit of swarming down there as well towards the Salton Sea region. This is the area, just uh, the southernmost San Andreas Fault section down here. Uh, nothing big. But we're still seeing some uh, movement down there, folks. Um, and, and a lot, of course, up here in Nevada. Uh, looks like a little one popped up here just to the west, well to the west and northwest of, uh, of uh, the Nevada quakes and the Lone Pine earthquake down there, 3.3 near Walker, California. 
uh, 3.4 kilometers below the surface there. So activity lighting up a little bit following that 4.4 magnitude quake. Uh, just good to be on guard, folks. Let's be on guard, no doubt, out here along the West Coast. This affects me and uh, quite a few folks out here as well watching the channel. Stay safe out there, folks, and uh, we'll chat at you guys in a little bit later. We'll keep monitoring out here on the channel, so keep checking back. We'll be back a little bit later.